it friends how about let's create a new design and I am deeming today talk like a pirate day I you matey which is silly but also quite fun so I'm gonna name this pirate ship alright friends let's build our boat with the roof when you bring the roof in uh, notice it is set at zero my grids at one grab and rotate and unfortunately that pushes it below zero but it's super simple to pull it back up so you're at zero height stretch that front end out and I'm gonna just adjust this so it's lined up on a grid line and I'm gonna make my uh, front of my ship uh, four millimeters or five millimeters past half so it's about 15 by 20 I want to make it two millimeters thick store that away because everything else you add is going to be two millimeters thick as well uh, let's bring in a rectangle notice they lined up nice and nifty uh, shrink that rectangle down I'm gonna make my rectangle 60 uh, deep instead of guessing I can just click and type 60 and then I'm gonna finish my awesome little ship uh, with a round roof um, when you bring the round roof in you do need to look at it from the side go to those tick marks make sure you use the big tick marks instead of the small tick marks and get it to 90 degrees once again when you rotate them it pushes them below and then zoom in and get that lined up the way you want right now I'm nudging with the arrow keys and then I'm setting the height to two millimeters just like the rest now you can make your pirate ship any color you want but I want to make my pirate ship brown so I'm gonna group it and I'm gonna select the color brown and you've got the first piece of your pirate ship built the next trick is to use control D to duplicate raise that next piece up two millimeters and then grab the white corner while holding alt and shift before we do this we're gonna switch to 0.5 millimeters and what's cool about that is if you drag two clicks it grows by the exact one millimeter adjustment that we want for our pirate ship so here I'm holding alt shift and I'm dragging there's my 22 I want to go back to 21 so now I have got the second layer of my ship the one thing I do always have to adjust is that height switches to 2.1 I'm gonna put it back to 2 just because I want them to stay the same control D lift that new larger one up uh, make sure you've got it at the uh, same height as the other I accidentally went one chunk too high and then we simply repeat that step again holding alt shift drag it one click if I was looking from an angle you would have seen it grow the exact repeat that skill again and again and again until you've got it all lined up keep changing those numbers to two and just get it so that your ship is the height that you think is coolest all right so let's do something super cool here we've got two four six eight ten twelve millimeters in height and I want to make that hollow from the two millimeters up so once again two four six eight ten so what I want you to do is duplicate by doing control D and then hide that shape you'll still see one because there's two and make that second one a hole raise it up two millimeters so that it's flush and then change its height remember we had 10 so we're gonna make it 9.5 millimeters high that way it doesn't poke all the way through but are you ready for this when you group all those parts that hole gets cut out and now you've cut out the inside of your shape when you click the show all the bottom of your ship returns and you have got your ship now built with a sweet hollow inside that we'll actually get into in a moment all right you can see I've brought the whole box out I'm gonna change its measurements to 15 by 10 just because that's what I feel like using I'm gonna use the align tool to align those up and the only direction I care about is so that it's centered and then with those parts uh, selected I'm gonna hold down shift and select both and now I'm gonna cut 
inside my ship. <laughs> I didn't have it low enough. I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to push it down in. And now because of the numbers that I typed a moment ago, we will have a hole entering our ship. There's the group and you can see inside our awesome ship. Notice it's a half millimeter thick. That is because of the 9.5 we typed a moment ago. For the rest of this project, I want to cut you loose. Uh, I will show you that I used a skinny cylinder. I will show you that I used the awesome multicolor tool. And all I did was take a round roof and make it real skinny to make my sail. Uh, I went into the connectors to make my silly little cannon. I went into the featured shape generators gear and there's the puller that can be found in the featured shape generators. Once again I used the extremely cool multicolor so that my steering uh, wheel was fine and then also you can see here uh, this shape uh, if I ungroup it is just cubes uh, a cube with cubes cut out. Uh, this is where it gets really cool. You can make it as awesome as you want. Do make sure when you build all your parts, you center them. Uh, you can see that I missed that one, but I'm going to realign it. And when you're done, make sure you share with me how cool yours turned out. And uh, I hope you had fun building this awesome Tinkercad ship. Please follow, subscribe, like, and comment.